Now, ladies and gentlemen, just in a few moments, I'm going to hypnotize the volunteers to sit back and relax. And afterwards, you can make all the noise you want to. I wouldn't say I got harassed. I got asked if I wanted a taxi three or four times. It's normal for the islands. Hey everybody, this is Richard Barker. I just thought I would check in with you and give you a quick update. I am uh, currently sitting on the Carnival Pride and uh, after quite a lengthy travel day and uh, I'm currently sitting on the Serenity deck and uh, I just wanted to um, talk you through the process that it took to get on this ship. Uh, obviously in light of COVID, this is pretty much the first time I've been on a ship in definitely about two years. Yeah, so here was the process. Got to the airport, got a taxi. Most uh, entertainers will know that uh, you, you, you land and arrive at an airport and sometimes you get picked up, sometimes you don't get picked up. Sometimes you have to get a taxi to the, to the port, sometimes you don't. They don't really ever tell you, so it's almost you know what i see people doing is you know you land at the uh, the the, uh, the airport and you um take a quick look around and see if there's any cruise ship representatives around and if there isn't you kind of make your own way onto the ship so got on the ship or got to the ship should i say in a taxi from the port and um no problem at all walked straight on the gangway had my temperature taken handed in my passport which is normal um, you tell them that you're a guest entertainer or a fly-on, which is a fly-on, fly-off. Although I think because of COVID, there's not going to be really that much flying on and flying off anymore. We used to get on the ship and get right off the ship again. Sometimes I would only be on a ship for 24 hours. I think those days have gone, to be honest with you, because of the logistics. I think when you get on a ship now and work on a cruise line, you're going to be on it for at least seven days. Uh, seven days or 14 days so I hand in my passport I immediately get my temperature checked I fill out a form to say I haven't been I haven't got COVID I haven't traveled internationally I did have to take a COVID test 48 hours before I sailed so I did that and I had my paperwork and then when you when you get on the gangway <clears throat> you're immediately you know you, all your stuff goes through the x-ray machine so that happened, which is, so far everything is almost normal apart from the temperature check. Everything else is as cruise ships normally are. Now here's where it starts to get interesting. Um, put the bags through the x-ray, and usually you go to the admin office, the MSA, where you get your key, and you get your cabin assigned, and you get some paperwork that you fill out, and basically from there you sort of find your cabin, and there's a mustard drill, and then you get briefed by the cruise director or the entertainment director. None of that actually happens anymore. So let's just tell you what happens. You, uh, you go through the x-ray machine with your bags and, uh, and then you are immediately told to go to the crew mess, uh, the crew lounge area, which is uh, where the crew bar is. And you are then instructed to um, see the doctor, see the nurse, and you, you right away do a COVID test right there. So you do the, you know, do the, uh, you know, the swab thing up your nose and you wait half an hour and the nurse in that crew mess tells you whether you have passed or failed, positive or negative. Um, you then get instructed that every other day for the next three days, so not tomorrow, but the, the next day, and then not, you know, every two days, you have to do another COVID test so I'm constantly going to be doing COVID tests, but it's not a problem. You just go down to the medical center, the infirmary, and it looks like it's only a 20 minute process. Here's where it gets good on Carnival, because as a positive, I got assigned a crew cabin, uh, sorry, a, a passenger cabin, I beg your pardon, a passenger cabin. So I didn't, get, I didn't get the normal crew cabin, which you get on Carnival, and most of the other cruise lines, you do get uh, a passenger cabin. So I got a passenger cabin, and I got told that I'm not allowed in crew area. So I can't use the crew mess, the crew bar. I, I am not allowed to have a carnival name tag. So I'm not wearing a name tag anywhere. The only time I go into a crew area is to go to the infirmary, which is to do my COVID test, which actually um, is a passenger space anyway. So I'm not going anywhere near 
sort of um, crew areas and I have a passenger cabin. I can only go in passenger areas. I don't wear a name tag. I don't have to do a mustard drill because here's another thing that's changed. Because of COVID, all you simply do now is there is no mustard drill anymore. You just watch the safety video in your cabin, which I have done. You report to your muster station and they just make sure you can put on a life jacket and then they sign you off. So the days of getting on a cruise ship, then everybody has to go to the muster station at like 3 p.m. And you know, you guys that have cruised, cruised before will remember there's like hundreds and hundreds of people all lined up doing this massive muster station. That does not happen anymore. So, so far everything to me is better, I, I have to say. So I'm gonna talk about the crew in a minute, the crew on this ship in just a second. In my experience so far let's uh, let, let's just quickly mention that so so far it's very streamlined right so in your, in your stateroom you watch the muster drill you report to your muster station whenever you want to i've noticed a lot, a lot of changes with carnival and um some of the changes are really positive like you no longer have to go to the the shore excursion desk to book an excursion it's done through the the carnival hub which is the phone app so you definitely want a phone with you when you go cruising you definitely want a cell phone you definitely want to download the app before you start sailing because on there it tells you about the weather the excursions it actually tells you what's going on now there, there used to be uh, what's called the carnival fun times it was a you know a, a fun times sort of brochure printed and put in your cabin the night before that basically told you what was happening on the day the following day they don't print that out anymore actually they only have a couple of printed copies i noticed and you can get them over in the piano bar and you can get them at the uh, the front desk uh, or, or you know the uh, the uh, the admin area but they are relying 99 percent of you will take your phone and you'll actually download the carnival hub app and that tells you all about the show times the dining options it's really really cool and actually the the carnival hub will tell you what restaurants are open what entertainment is happening it tells you all about the weather it tells you all about how to get on and off the ship it's really more useful than the, the fun times and uh, the only reason i guess i liked the fun times was to take it home as a souvenir but now it's all done on the app so make sure you download the app before you get on the ship it tells you what's going on you book your uh, shore excursions on the app so no more lining up you do all your ship on board credit and account management everything through the app so it's almost like all the lines have been removed it's freestyle dining which means you can pretty much go to the dining room anytime you want to so there's they've, they've sort of done a good job of eliminating all the lines to all the events uh yeah I, i'm super impressed the food is excellent they seem to have stepped that up there's lots of different options that i am going to show you on this video but for now my feet are getting wet the tide is coming in and out uh, it's a beautiful sunny day in the Dominican Republic and I'm about to go and find a nice quiet pool area uh, one of the, the tricks of traveling is to go and find a hotel and when the guard says you can't come in you give them five ten bucks and all of a sudden miraculously they give you a wristband and let you in and uh, you enjoy the day with a bit of tranquility and peace and quiet and I am down in Aruba a uh, really nice island and uh, my thoughts on this cruise well I've been doing COVID tests literally every other day uh, I did a sh a two shows last night why are you speeding? I got diarrhea and I can't I don't go oh, we're going to put you out of your misery sleep just relax um, both shows required me to wear a mask throughout the entire show the passengers had their masks on as well Uh, the shows went well. I think everybody is ready and sort of is up for a little bit of comedy. I've noticed that um, the audiences have been been out in full force uh, attending all of the shows. 
Okay, everybody, so we've come to the end of the cruise. I'm leaving the ship tomorrow. So what did I think? Uh, awesome, Carnival, you did a fantastic job. Uh, COVID tests every other day. I was impressed with the morale of the passengers, the morale of the crew. Uh, all the shows were excellent. Uh, I met up with a couple of uh, guys I haven't seen for a while. Uh, Phil Hughes, Ventriloquist. I met up with a, a juggler that I, I haven't met or haven't seen for years. Um, passengers are loving, are loving cruising again. You know, don't get put off by COVID. I know some of you were saying to me, oh, you're going to go on a cruise ship. It's going to be like a germ infested, you know, they're pushing this nasty air all over the place. Well, let me tell you, they've made some massive changes. Um, the only way to discover what those changes are is get on a cruise and check it out. For example, all the doors now are automatic. So you don't touch the doors anymore. They're automatic. Um, there's so many things now that are automated. You know, you're getting all your messages and all your stuff through your television now, which they never used to do. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much touchless. It's pretty much, uh, you know, hands free or hands off the doors and things like that. Lots of hand washing stations, which as we all know is very, very important. Um, everybody did a good job. I wish I could, uh, I wish I could say something negative because trust me, I would if I found something that wasn't good, I would say something. But I got to tell you, the, the crew did a wonderful job and a great cruise director, Frankie, was on board. Um, all the techs backstage did awesome. So yeah, make sure you go on a cruise. I had a thoroughly good time on Carnival. Looking forward to getting back onto a couple of other cruise lines as well. Um, and let's, uh, let's get back to normal and let's enjoy cruising again. So I'm gonna say goodbye from uh, Aruba and from this video, uh, I'm leaving the ship tomorrow at Carousel and uh, see you later. Enjoy the scenery.